Hey guys, we're going on back again with another Vanguard video. And for this one, I want to review uh, the new ranked play mode that's been going on for a couple weeks now. I think maybe like two or three weeks. Uh, I participated in I think all three weeks or uh, ever since it started because I wanted to give it a shot. I never really did hardcore or I never really did uh, ranked play because um, as I'll point out towards the end of this, uh, it kind of have all has all the same issues that hardcore has had and ranked has had in other games so it's just kind of those things that just kind of continue over from uh, game to game depending on uh, which game you're going to play and i'm probably going to reference um, apex legends also in here because you know that is probably the only other ranked play uh game or you know any type of like sort of ranked that they have uh, so I'm going to reference that a little bit in the end, but first I want to just kind of do a kind of like a little tutorial uh, on what you have to do to um, participate or how do you uh, go about starting if you're looking to get started in ranked play. Uh, first things first, and it's pretty explanatory on this page. Um, you just go to the uh, how to play section and it's going to bring you here. Uh, let me see if I can back up because I'm using some old gameplay. Um, from uh you know yesterday i think i've been streaming it uh for a couple days and that's the one good thing is like if you're into streaming and stuff like that um you do get a lot of views people are interested in ranked play um like i said I never really got involved until uh very recently uh however okay so on this screen you want to go to how to play and it's going to bring you to the next screen which is this it's going to explain a couple things and placement points and stuff like that so the first section is the leader event uh, every time you play uh, and you win you get 100 points uh, however you get an extra bonus 20 points uh, for the first five wins that you get so um, for the day so or is it 120 I think it's 100 so uh, you get 120 for the first five wins everything after that is just 100 points for every win because you get a bonus 100 points every day. They just split it up into the first five games that you win. And if you lose, as you see on the screen right here, um, you get uh, negative 61 points. Um, and you wanna, you, you're going to want to accumulate those as much as po possible so you can move up the ladder. Um, so I'm going to move forward in the footage. And um, now, before you even get to that point you're gonna have to want to play five games like it says right here skill evaluation now uh, the unfortunate truth kind of like <laughs> in real life because I kept saying this the whole for the past couple of weeks now in different discords and different uh, on Twitter and with different people is it's a good analogy for life if you don't have good people around you um, you're not gonna move up in life if you don't have a good family that teaches you about college or getting a good job or helping you good support system uh you're gonna stay in one spot you're probably gonna end up working you know at a i'm gonna call it a dead end job i don't want to name any companies um you know directly but we all know which jobs are kind of the low level jobs in life you're probably gonna stay there if you don't have a good family and support system uh to teach you about college or you know if you don't have any ambition you, you don't have relatives that are ambitious so it's the same thing if you go in ranked play by yourself even though you're the most ambitious people you're gonna go in there with the worst of the worst and you're gonna have a horrible support system you're gonna have a horrible teammates that don't even know what they're doing they don't belong in ranked play but because of the way uh, video games are everybody has to be inclusive and you have to have accessibility uh, and everybody is allowed to play you can't really um, you know single any group of people out that like yeah you're pretty bad you shouldn't be playing ranked so what i would recommend first is if you can get at least one or two or three friends that aren't too garbage then you should be able to get placed pretty well uh just i'm gonna be brutally honest uh, i'm not the greatest but there's still people light years worse than me in in some of these groups and lobbies and stuff like that uh so I unfortunately got placed in contender <laughs> because I went in by myself and your teammates are pretty much brainless they're bots you know they're just potatoes they don't know what they're doing they never played a, a search and destroy game they don't even know what control is they don't know what an objective is they don't understand the the concept of getting kills you know they're just the worst of the worst they just kind of like 
hey, I, they woke up today and decided they're going to play Call of Duty for the first time. So that's the quality of people that you're going to get in a lot of your lobbies. Um, so keep keep in mind that that just transcends to you're not going to get five wins. The object is to get as many wins as possible. The more wins you get, the higher you get placed with better people. Um, and that's just life. If you have a good foundation, you're going to go to Ivy League or you're going to go to a private high school, private college, private um, institution, private middle school, um, or maybe even like a Catholic school and stuff like that. You're going to get placed very high. You're going to get in the higher percentage of society and stuff like that. That all is pretty much a ranked play. Is ranked play is like a, a simulator for life. If you go in by yourself and you're like, I don't need any family members to help me. I don't need this. Or you don't have good family members. You have a, a, a family tradition of being like um, on achievers or underachievers. Um, then that's going to translate into ranked play. If you go in by yourself, you're going to go in with really horrible people that don't know what they're doing. If you get maybe two or three friends, you're going to um, get a better chance of placing higher. You're going to get like into the I Ivy League schools over here or private schools. Uh, but like me, I went by myself and it's just, it's brutal. You're, you're getting 20, 30 kills and that's it. Your teammates are pretty much getting like five kills. They're not doing objectives. They don't even know what an objective is, like I said. So I started horribly and... I I don't know what I'm going to do for next season because this is per season or, or a couple, um, couple. I guess it's a season event, whatever. So for this season, I, I went in stupid and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to give it a shot like most people. Um, but you're going to end up getting four teammates, actually three teammates because it's four versus four. You can get three teammates that are just like, I don't know, like they must, I don't know what what's wrong with them. Uh, so anyways, it's going to be pretty tough for you to have a good time to get any wins to move up. Uh, like I said, it's like a life simulator uh, if you don't have a good teammates and good people around you. Uh, so basically, every time you play, you earn SR, which is skill ranks, I guess it's called. Um, and the more you get, like once I fill this up or get enough that I need, I go into specialist. Then I get enough wins and, and kills, I go into advanced and expert and then... You, challenger i guess is the the best of the best um now if you're solo you'll never get into any of these so don't even don't even look this far i play solos um a solo queue i guess they call it uh don't even this is a pipe dream for me any of this stuff right here that'll never happen um i'm lucky to get a win in contender because people are just like you know ass backwards i guess is the best way to put it so for me i think the best i can look at is specialist um there's no way i'll ever get into any of these unless i get really good teammates uh and stuff like that and i get placed higher and get better teammates um now that's the first part of it the second part is speaking of bots i think there's ai bots in there because um i guess the lobbies don't get filled in a lower section i think maybe people like once they find out reality hits how bad they are, they're like, well, I'm not going to play in contender. That's a really crap division. I think people are maybe in denial how bad they are. So once they find out they get placed in contender, um, they pretty much just quit. It's kind of like Yahoo Sports. If you draft your team or you do automatic draft and you get a really bad team or some of the players that you draft are just, you know, they get hurt or not good or not playing well, people just quit their Yahoo fantasy team. It's kind of the same thing. So uh, I'm finding a lot of AI bots in in this division, I call it, um, because once I kill somebody, it's like a bot spawns behind me and kills me automatically. I'm insta dead. Um, I I think the game knows that if you get too many kills, then the AI bots just attack you and spawn. I guess it's just algorithms or whatever you want to call it. Because I get like one or two kills in a row, then it's like three people spawn behind me and I'm insta dead. Uh, I think I think most of the time I'm playing against AI bots that just spawn all over the place. Um, because I don't think people, once, like I said, once people find out, or they maybe find a friend that are in advanced and they're like, well, I'm going to go play in advanced. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play up my rank or whatever they call it. I think that's other people are doing. I could do that also. Uh, I can kind of find people that are in better divisions and play up to that. I don't think there's many people in these lower ranks because they probably either quit out um, or they find other, you know, the 
divisions to go into, other friends that are in higher divisions. Uh, and then on top of that, um, like I said, there's there's just a lot of AI bots, it seems like, in there. Like you, It's hard to kill the other team. Um, I mean, it's easy to kill the other team, but then like three people spawn behind you, and you're just like, you're dead, you're insta-dead. Um, so it's like, why even bother? So um, that's just a couple of things really quickly. Uh, aside from that, I think I pretty much touched on the um the um you know the uh the bots i think are just it's just brutal from day to day i think they kind of like um you know tune it every day like how aggressive the bots are going to be uh and i know it's just that it's one of those things where uh, fortnite started it and it was um you know they need bots in the game for battle pass progression and progression in general you can't have people getting like 75 kills in a lobby like the old days now it's like um if you try and get 75 kills i don't know i feel like the bots are just gonna spawn on you or or something something crazy is going on uh i know people are gonna say that like they never come across bots i don't know if it's just in these, these divisions because maybe people aren't playing or staying in there they're like you know what I'm just not going to play, and I'm going to wait for next season, try and get into a better uh, division. So I think that's what's going on. Uh, if I had to take a guess, is once you play your five matches and you find out how horrible it was that you went in either by yourself or just you're not as good as you thought you were, um, then you're just like, I quit. I'm just going to try again next season. It's kind of like, I guess in a way you think about maybe you apply for a job or position, you don't get it, or you apply for like five jobs, five positions, and you don't get it, you don't get it, or you get the worst one, like you say, I'm going to apply for like McDonald's, and I'm going to apply to like some other places, and then you don't get approved for those places, you only get approved for McDonald's, you're like, well, I'm just not going to work at all. Uh, I think that's what people are doing, um, because I just find a lot of AI bots are just spawning in every game, and it's hard to kill them, and your teammates are just like, um, you know, don't know what they're doing, they don't even know what the objective is, they don't know how to plant a bomb, uh, they don't know what search and destroy is, so, again, you're gonna have a really tough time. Uh, again, I'm just pretty much probably just gonna wrap it up with that, and then, uh, again, that's pretty much it, you're playing to get these SR rankings, but if you're solo queuing, it's not gonna work, it's trying, to, it's the same as, like, trying to get a win in Warzone, um, you're not gonna really get a win, you're not gonna have a good time if you're not queuing up with some friends or you meet some friends on xbox or playstation or you squad up uh you're pretty much toast like don't even don't even think you're gonna get a win uh or move up or rank up with if you're solo queuing um that's pretty much every mode now if, again I, I mentioned apex apex is like call of duty players are pretty bad um apex players are like a trillion times worth like if you th think of like a, a a chili pepper a jalapeno pepper versus like a ghost pepper uh or death reaper pepper that's kind of what is like let's say call of duty is the players are pretty bad like jalapeno level then apex players are infinitely worse than um <laughs> call of duty player it's not even it's like again comparing a jalapeno pepper or banana pepper to like um you know a ghost reaper habanero pepper it's just infinitely worse it you're gonna literally cry if you try and play apex um in a random public lobby maybe even um again like a ranked lobby they're just so bad especially in arenas three versus three you're gonna end up having the squad wipe the other team every single time it's the worst of the worst like like you think and that's why everybody runs to apex obviously because the skill base um is easier so all the streamers and content creators that thought they were good enough uh for call of duty like i said they kind of um you know they they blew a lot of smoke for years and they get exposed and then they expose to how bad they are then they all run the apex because you jump on apex and you can get a couple kills easy um if you get, but if you go solo queuing, you're gonna have really bad teammates, and you're gonna have to kill the other team all by yourself. So, again, those are some things to kind of um, think about while you're, uh, you know, thinking about playing ranked. It's it's gonna be tough to solo queue, I guess is the bottom line. And again, you you want to the whole idea is to move up here and then move up the ladder. Um, do I have the ladder here for you? No, I probably don't. 
um, just looking at the bottom, if I can show you what the ladder looks like. Um, but you earn stars on the ladder, and then you use those ladder uh, to unlock um, calling cards and stuff like that. Um, oh, here it is. Okay, I think this is it. Uh, okay, so once you play, you earn points. Every day, like I said, you earn bonus points. Um, up to 100 bonus points, you know, 20 points divided into the first five games, and then everything after that is just a standard 100 points. So right now, or yesterday, I was at level 100. I'm going to get five stars if I keep at, you know, rank one or first place. I'm going to earn five stars. Those five stars you use to unlock. Um, you know what they probably should do? It's going to be more complicated is they probably should do it then like Fortnite where you can choose what you want to unlock um like right now i have like maybe seven stars hey if you want to buy this wallpaper or a calling card you can or an emblem you can unlock it with three calling cards or two calling uh i'm sorry two stars or three stars uh you can unlock it uh right now it's just kind of like um a progression but if you're doing stars and you're giving stars away, uh, in a way I feel like maybe they should do it almost like Fortnite where you can kind of choose what you want to spend those stars on. Um, maybe, I guess. Unless you, they're just going to keep it the way it is and you progress. The, the unfortunate truth is, like I said, it's... I don't, I don't know what happened. I played with a couple people yesterday. Uh, but I... It's tough. I, I don't know how other which other way to say, it, but it's tough if you um if you think it's it's gonna be tough to stay in first place because I'm solo queuing and everybody in every lobby is just horrendous. Every teammate is horrendous. I guess I'm going up against you know um, clans and squads and stuff like that, and it's just it's it, it's not fun. Um, it's just horrendous. They need to be a better reward system for people that solo queue. And that's the only thing I want to talk about also, I'm going to end with that, is um, it should not be called team, it should be called team ranked play, not just ranked play, because honestly, if you don't have a team, you're done. You don't, like, like I said, it's just an analogy for life. If you don't have a good team with you, or support system, community people are using now as keywords, if you don't have a good community, team members, family, friends, teachers, stuff like that, uh, administrative people at your school or, or life or whatever uh, or people that give you business advice you're, you're just gonna fail I hate to say it it sounds harsh but you're gonna fail um, I just happen to be insanely good that it's been a nightmare but I'm so good that it's like I'm barely staying afloat like if I was an average player or below average player it, it would be a million times worse like um, it's basically every game is four versus four, but it's really like two versus four, or three versus four. It's just that like I just happen to be really good. Um, but uh, a really good solo queue, I guess I got I call it. But uh, you're gonna need to really find a good support system. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I'll see you guys later.